and let's clean you really well so you don't get a rash. Hi friends! So today, I have a very special video for you guys. I'm bringing you these toys all the way from Mexico. These toys are called Casimeritos and they are all the rage in Mexico right now. I thought they were so cute and I wanted to show all you guys here at Stories with Dolls. In the comments, let me know what you guys think of these dolls and if you'd like me to keep doing videos with them. So before we start, I'm going to introduce you guys to the Casimeritos that I have right now in the nursery. This is Chivatita and she was the first one that I got. These toys are so cool. When you get them, they come with adoption certificates and everything. So I guess you could say Chivatita was the first one that I adopted. And we're going to say that that means that she's the oldest one of all the babies here in the nursery. And an interesting fact about Chivatita is that she loves to tap dance. Next we have Tonito. And look how cute he is! Aw, look how cute he is with his pacifier. Oh, whoops. <laughs> he has a big smile. Oh, he's just so cute! He's a pearly Casimirito, and he comes all the way from the mines of Neonanjuato, which is a cute little pun because there's a city in Mexico called Guanajuato. And if you guys can see this gem here, it's actually really special because it gives him good luck. And now we're going to get to know Guats a little better. Guats communicates mostly with his eyes. Oh! <laughs> he actually just said that he's very happy to be here with you guys today. And now, let's get to know Susie Keen. Susie Keen is the same age as Guats and Tonito. A fun fact about Susie Keen is that she loves milk chocolate. And I don't blame her. Who doesn't love chocolate? And now that we've talked a bit about all the Casimeritos that I have here in the nursery, it's actually time for Chivatita to eat her baby food. These other three still drink Casi milk because they're too young to start actually eating. But Chivatita is old enough to eat Casi baby food. So let's go to the kitchen so we can feed her. Ooh, Chivatita is hungry. Ooh, okay, let's put a bib on Chivatita. We don't want her to get her clothes all dirty. Oh, this bib is a bit big on her. Let's put her in her high chair. Friends, here I have this mole de rosas, which is a popular Mexican dish that Chivatita loves. But I also like to give her a homemade fruit puree as a dessert. And this fruit puree has a lot of vitamins and minerals so that Chivatita can grow up to be healthy and strong. So really quickly, I'm going to make the puree here in the blender with cubed cantaloupe, pieces of orange, strawberries, and now I'm going to give her her food. Let's start with the mole de rosas. According to the Casimerito expert, we're supposed to feed her one little ball at a time so she doesn't choke. Let's give her the first ball. Chivatita still doesn't know how to eat and so her food comes out. Let's see, let's give her another one. And now her fruit puree. Let's give her a really small piece. Oh, it was a good thing we put her bib on because look at what a mess she made with the food. Okay, Chivatita, it's time to put you down for a nap. Yes, you liked the food. This is Chivatita's room. She shares it with her sister, Susie Keen. And that way, they can keep each other company and they won't be afraid to sleep at night. And speaking of going to bed, it's a good thing Susie Keen hasn't gone to bed yet because it's time for them to take a nap. And what happens is that it takes me a while to put Chivatita to sleep because she's really happy and she starts to tap dance in her sleep. And while she does that, she doesn't let Susie Keen go to sleep. But it's a good thing that they're both awake right now because it's time for both of you to go to bed. I wrap them up in blankets so they don't get cold. I play a lullaby and it's bedtime. And now we're going to make a room for Guats and Tonito because they don't have to stay in the incubator anymore, but they don't have a room yet. So let's see, I'm going to put a crib here for them to share with this chair for decoration. And I'm going to put some decorations on the wall. And this is how Tonito and Guatz's room turned out. In the comments, tell me which of the four Casimeritos you liked the most. Hi guys, I'm back with the babies from Mexico. I made a video about them a while ago and a lot of you told me in the comments that you liked them and wanted me to do more videos with them. So today, I brought you guys a lot of stuff that has been going on with these babies. 
Like I said in the other video, the first one we adopted was Chivatita. She traveled all the way from Mexico, and when she got here, her head was turned the other way and she was very tired. As soon as she saw me, she liked me. And I liked her. She came with all of her adoption papers. Okay, boys and girls, when you adopt these little babies, the first thing you should do is give them a hug and a kiss so they feel loved. Then you need to check their newborn bracelet and write their initial on it. Then you have to remove their umbilical cord super carefully and wipe it softly with a cotton ball and some water. And then you connect them to a special solution that comes chock full of nutrients that will help the baby grow healthy and strong. And don't forget to show her some love along the way. Hi there, baby girl. And now let's take a quick look at the incubator. It has this control here for lazy bowel, so we know if the baby is having a hard time going poop. And it has other controls here for breathing, weight, or if the baby has a stuffy nose. This one over here regulates the body temperature. This one marks the level of niceness. As you can see, it's pretty high. This one marks the level of cuteness, which is also very high. To make her bath time more fun so she can relax, I'm going to use these super fun foam soaps in different colors and these cute little bath toys. So let's make sure we have everything. Warm towel to dry her with, check. Foam soap, check. Bathtub, check. Bath toys for her to play with, check. Place her in the tub and add the foam. Whee! Oh! Woo! <laughs> Whee! Oh, she's having so much fun! And now I'm going to wash her face very carefully because Casimiritos don't like it when they get water or soap in their eyes. It hurts a lot. Behind her ears. And now let's rinse her with warm water. So let me get her out of the tub with the warm towel. I'm going to wrap her up in a warm blanket and now it's time to feed her some casi milk. And now, let me put her down for a nap. Shh, she's asleep now. I'm going to walk out of the room to let her rest. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Me over and pour me out. So now we're just waiting for Barbie. She's going to babysit the other babies while I take Chivatita to the doctor. Hi, I'm here. Oh, hi Barbie, we're ready to leave. Oh, of course, of course, go ahead. I'll stay with these cuties. Oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> they are, aren't they? She's Susie Keen, and this one right here is Guats, and this sleepy head over here is Tonito. Awesome, I'll take good care of them. Hello, Doc McStuffins. Hi there. So here's Chivatita. Hi, sweetheart. Chivatita, this is Doc McStuffins. Her ears are clean and healthy. Now let's take her temperature. Now her blood pressure. And now let's listen to her heartbeat. She's in tip top health. Why Tonito is crying. Churro, did you take away his pacifier? Oh, Churro, why would you do such a thing? Here, Tonito, here's your binky. There, there, it's okay. Churro wants Tonito's binky. 
But why, Churro? You're a big boy. But Churro wants Tonito's Pinky. Churro wants Pinky too. You know what, Churro? Actually, I came here because I'm going to give you guys a bath. I'm going to wash them with this foam that's specially designed to protect the Casimirito's skin. I have to take Guats, Susie Keen, and Tonito to get their shots. So I want to give them a nice relaxing bath first. Churro wants to wash Guats' hair! <laughs> yes! Churro wants to wash Guats' hair! No, Churro! Don't worry about Guats. Just sit here and relax. And I'll take care of Guats and Tonito. Look, I have some fun toys here for you guys to play with while you take a bath. For Tonito, the monkey. Plop. No, no! All of them for Churro! I want all of them! Churro? What is it? What's going on? You're acting up today. Look over here! The tiger goes roar! The monkey goes ooh ooh ah ah! And the giraffe just eats munch munch munch! Phew! It's a good thing the babies are happy again! I've already gotten the girls ready, so really quickly here, let's get Tonito all dressed up. I'm going to have to use some clothes that are a bit too big for him. I already ordered some in his size, but for now, he's going to have to wear these. And now let's put him in this car seat here, so he's ready to go to the doctor. Susie Keen is ready also. And now Guats. These clothes are also kind of big on him, but I ordered some new clothes for him. And now let's put Guats in his car seat. And now Churro. And now let's just wait for Barbie. She's going to be babysitting Churro, Atole, and Chivatita this time. Hi, Barbie. Oh, hello. Oh, let me see the babies. Hi, cuties. I remember all of you. Ooh, I know Chivatita, but who are these? These are Churro and Atole. They're our new babies, but they're a little older. Hi, Churro. Hi, Atole. Okay, Barbie, we're leaving now. Oh, sure, sure. Take care. Good morning. Good morning, Doc McStuffins. I have more babies that need their checkups. This is Guats. This is Susie Keen. And this is Tonito. Oh, I'm so glad to have them here. Let's see how they're doing and if everything is fine. Nice, strong heartbeat. Guats is so brave. Good job, Guats. Now it's Susie Keen's turn. Ears first. Very nice. Let's see the other one. Perfect. Nice, strong heartbeat. Now Susie Keen is all taken care of. And now Tonito last. Let's check his ears. They're clean. And now let's listen to his heartbeat. Nice, healthy heart. Oh, thank you, Doc McStuffins. Hi, Barbie. We're back. How was everything? Good, good. With one exception, Churro wasn't a very good listener. Oh, really? What happened? Well, he was taking stuff away from the other babies, and now he's mad. Oh, no! That's not like Churro at all. Hmm. Well, now that I think about it, he was acting up a bit this morning. Okay, Barbie. Thank you. Bye! Churro, come over here, honey. Tell me what's wrong. Why were you acting up with Bar? <gasps> oh no! Churro has a fever! Oh, Churro's sick! No wonder he wasn't being himself today. Fortunately, I have some medicine here to lower the fever and make him feel better. Here, Churrito. I'm tired. I know, sweetie. Come on, let's go to bed. Here, have a nice rest. Okay, Atole, go ahead and get your bug really quietly because Churro is sleeping. He's not feeling well. Okay, Atole will be quiet because Churro no feeling well and Atole no wake him up. That's right. Go on in really quick and let's let him rest. I got my bug! Perfect, let's go. Wait, Atole! You see, Churro is sick, and I don't want you to get sick too. 
so don't get too close to Churro. Why don't you go to the playroom and I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Churro, how are you feeling? I'm hungry. Okay, I'm going to go get you some soup and I'll be right back. But let me check your fever first. Oh, your fever is gone. That's great. Are you feeling better? No. But you look much better. And you don't have a fever anymore. No, Churro not feeling well yet. Churro not feeling well yet. Okay, Churro. I'm going to go get you something to eat. <laughs> Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up, horsey! <laughs> oh no, someone's coming! Churro! Here's some chicken soup. It's very healthy and it's going to make you feel strong and healthy again. Here you go. Open your mouth. Yum! Churro likes the soup. You're going to feel much better. Another one. Yummy! Mmm! Chicken soup. Yum! Friends, I'm so glad Churro is eating the soup. Because let me tell you, he wasn't feeling well at all. He didn't want to eat. He was very sick. I'm so happy he's feeling better now. No! Churro's still not feeling better! But Churro, you look so much better. But Churro not feeling better. Churro wants a toy. Okay, Churro, I'll read you a story. I'm going to read you your favorite story. Friends, Churro loves to read books in Spanish, so I'm going to read him this one. Okay, Churro, since you don't have a fever anymore, you can go to the playroom now. No, Churro is sick. Okay, Churro, then go back to bed and rest while I take this back to the kitchen. Horsey, horsey. Giddy up, giddy up, horsey. <laughs> churro, you're up. That's great. No, Churro not feeling well. Going back to Churro's bed. Wait a minute, Churro. I know I've been telling you your favorite stories and giving you your favorite foods, and that's probably why you don't want to get out of your bed. But you're feeling much better now. Okay, Churro wants to play in the playroom.